North Korea seems to be aware of the international community's thoughts on denuclearization and appears a bit more sincere about it this time. That's according to South's unification minister, who also highlighted the importance of putting interactions with Pyongyang back on track. Wu Zhengyi shares with us his remarks. Meeting with reporters on Monday, South Korea's unification minister Cho myung gyun said the most important goal for the April 27th inter-Korean summit is to have an open and frank conversation between the leaders to build trust. Even more so as the meeting comes after over a decade of frosty relations and the two leaders, South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, are meeting face-to-face -face for the very first time. Denuclearization will definitely be on the table, Cho said. And when asked whether Pyongyang shares the same notion of denuclearization with Seoul, Cho suggested the North seems to be well aware of the international community's views. According to Cho, unlike in the past, the North Korean side was attentive to the South Korean delegation's remarks on denuclearization. The minister said that Seoul, Pyongyang and Washington could possibly have a trilateral summit after the U.S.-North Korea summit in May, but it remains to be seen whether six-party talks will also resume. To pursue sustainable inter-Korean relations, Cho said institutionalizing any type of agreements the two Koreas settle on will be crucial. He added Seoul will do as much as possible to restore interactions and cooperation with the North within the range of international sanctions. South and North Korea are well into their preparations for the April 27th summit. They plan to hold additional working-level talks this week on security, protocol and media coverage for the summit, as well as establishing a hotline between the leaders. High-level delegations from Seoul and Pyongyang could meet next week, possibly Wednesday, to narrow down the focus of the summit. They're also likely to set a date for the very first phone conversation between President Moon and North Korean leader Kim to take place before the summit, as agreed between the two Koreas in early March. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.